In this series of tutorials, we'll be looking at various different ways that we express conditional relationships in language. The basic syntax for the conditional is if A, then B. But in ordinary language, we have lots of ways of expressing conditionals that don't use this form. We'll start with the form A, if B. If I pay for dinner, then you'll pay for drinks. This is written in standard conditional form. The antecedent is I pay for dinner, and the consequent is you'll pay for drinks. The if is what flags the antecedent. In standard form, the antecedent comes immediately after the if. Now I can write the same claim like this. You'll pay for drinks if I pay for dinner. Here the consequent is now at the beginning of the sentence and the antecedent is at the end. But the antecedent is still I pay for dinner. The if flags the antecedent just as it does when the conditional is written in standard form. Here's the general translation rule. Now I want to mention something here that might be a source of confusion. I've written it as B if A rather than A if B, so that the A's and B's correspond when compared with the conditional in standard form. So the same symbols represent the antecedent and the conditional in both versions. But you shouldn't expect the same letter to always represent the antecedent of the conditional. The symbols are arbitrary. We could write the same rule in all these different ways and it would still represent the same rule. What matters is that in standard form, whatever follows the if is the antecedent. The trick in interpreting different versions of the conditional is to identify the claim that is functioning as the antecedent so that you can then rewrite the conditional in standard form. This is actually a very useful skill when analyzing ordinary arguments. We'll eventually cover the valid and invalid argument forms that use the conditional, and these are always expressed using the conditional in standard form. So in order to apply your knowledge of valid and invalid argument forms, you need to be able to translate conditionals into standard form. Let's finish with a couple examples. The exercise is to write these conditionals in standard form. David will be late if he misses the bus, and you'll gain weight if you don't exercise. And the answers look like this. David will be late if he misses the bus, just means if David misses the bus, then he'll be late. And similarly for you'll gain weight if you don't exercise. The rule is that you look for the if, and whatever follows the if is the antecedent of the conditional. This is the simplest alternative form for the conditional. As we'll see, there are other forms, and they can be trickier to translate. 